Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 8.9, area and perimeter problems. Let's get started. Today's objective is I can evaluate word problems involving area and perimeter by using a formula to calculate with 100% accuracy in multiple attempts. Please pause to write the I can and by statement in your digital math notebook now. All right, guys, over the last couple of days, we have talked about area and perimeter. In today's problems, we're going to have word problems that we're going to solve using either area or perimeter. We wanna make sure that we look for words like around or frames or borders, or whether it's a pool or a rug that might tell us whether we're using perimeter or area. Let's watch a problem with me before we do one together. Example one, Briella has 22 inches of ribbon she would like to use to frame a rectangular picture. What is the largest picture in square inches that Briella can frame and still use all 22 inches of ribbon. So let's go in here and look. We know that she has 22 inches of ribbon and she's going to make a frame. So that means it's gonna go around the outside of a rectangle. And we want to know in square inches, so our units are inches, what is the largest picture? So we want, we want to use as much of the 22 as possible. So let's see, if we have a rectangle and we're trying to get to 22, going around the outside, let's first think what would 22 divide by four so that we could think of all four sides. Well, 22 doesn't evenly divide by four because four goes into 25 times. So it can't be an even side, it can't be a square. So let's see if we can just pick a couple numbers and try it out. Well, we have a five here, so let's start with that five. If I make one side five, remember we're using a frame, so we're gonna make the other side five. So that means that I have already used 10. So if I'm trying to get to 22 and I've used 10, that means that I still have 12 inches that I can use. If I divide that by the two sides, that means that the two sides will equal. All right, guys, we're back in your digital notebook. Let's solve some problems together. Our first problem says a rectangle has a perimeter of 40 inches and a length of 12. What is the width? So just to kind of picture it, I'm gonna go ahead and draw myself a rectangle. We know that the perimeter around the outside is going to equal 40, and we know the length is 12. Well, if we know that one side is 12, then we know that the other side is 12, which means that we've already used 12 plus 12, which gives me 24. So if we're trying to get to 40 and we've used 24, we can subtract to see what's different, kind of like we did on the problem before this. Zero minus four we can't do, so we have to borrow. 10 minus four is six, and three minus two is one. So that means when I put both sides together, I get 16. But I need to divide that by two because it's two sides. And 16 divided by two is eight, so that must mean that the width is eight. Great job, let's try another one. A square, ooh, this is important, a square has a perimeter of 28 centimeters. Then they ask us the question here at the end, careful, what is the area? So we have to use the perimeter, but then find the area. The first important word that I saw there was that it is a square. So that means that all four sides are equal. So I know that 28, the perimeter, is going to equal something times four because all four sides are equal. So now I can use a math fact to fill in the blank that seven times four equals 28. 
So if one side is 7 and it's a square, then the other side is also 7, which means that the area would equal 7 times 7, which is 49. Great job so far. All right, friends. In this lesson activity, we also have some problems where we're going to be needing to look at the difference. This is your lesson activity. Let's start it off together. Allison's yard is shown below. She is going to install a square fountain with a side length of five feet. How much space will be left in her yard? So first off, we see that it is a square fountain and we need the space inside, right? How much space will be left in her yard? So we're not trying to find the perimeter, we're trying to find the area. So first off, we need to know how big her yard is. So the first step that we're going to do is find the area of the yard. So the area would equal 14 times eight. Let's do that off to the side. Four times eight is 32. Eight times one is eight, plus three, eight, nine, 10, 11. So that would give us 112. Now we can find the area of the fountain because we want to know how much space the fountain is going to take up. So it tells us that it is a square fountain with a side length of five. So that must mean that the area is going to be five times five, which we know is 25. So if the whole yard is 112 and the fountain takes up 25, here's your job friends. How much space will be left over in her yard after we put in the fountain. Fill in this box and type your notes in your digital math notebook. Great job so far, fifth graders. When all of your digital math notes are complete, then go back and complete your exit slip to show your understanding. Great job.